We are now welcomed on the Deseret First Credit Union hotline by ESPN College Football Insider Trevor Maddich, a national champion here at BYU and someone who played for Lavelle Edwards. Trevor, what is uh, your reaction and your raw emotions to the news of Lavelle Edwards passing away? Well, it's it's really hard because of what an impactful role he played in my life personally and so many people that I care about and have grown to love through BYU football. And so it's, uh, you know, on the one hand, it, it's so hard to see him go. And on the other hand, it is so fitting that so many people are talking about the, the, the legacy, the far-reaching impact that he had on so many lives. It's very rare that one man and one couple, along with Patty, would have so much of a role to play in molding people into who they are today in the, in the highest level of, of, of living a good life because that's what he inspired you to do. I mean, he didn't tell you to go live a good life. He made you want to be better because you wanted him to respect you. And I think that it's fitting that so much of that is being talked about today. Trevor, take us back to, to your playing days. What was it like? What was Lavelle like on the sidelines? What was he like as your coach? On the sidelines, Lavelle was the master puppeteer. He didn't do a whole lot of talking when he didn't need to. What he did was had his vision and his philosophy, both with schemes and with the way he wanted coaches to behave and the way he wanted his players to turn out. And then he let them coach to the highest level of their creative capabilities. And that's one of the reasons that he was so successful as a head coach. He allowed people to soar to the heights of their own talents, players and assistant coaches. When he did speak, it was like a thunderbolt at times because some coaches, they're always talking, and sometimes they're always yelling and screaming, and it just becomes part of the background noise. But with Lavelle, he would just stand there and look. But with a small expression or a small shift in body language, you knew if he was happy with what you were doing in your effort or if he wasn't. And if he wasn't, boy, did you double-time it to, to fix it. Because, once again, you weren't worried about what he would do. You were worried that he would not respect you. And I think that that's another high compliment to pay for the character of a man. Talking with ESPN's Trevor Maddich about Lavelle Edwards. I'm starting to see more and more uh, just random fans tweet in about the impact that he had on them becoming BYU fans and wanting to be better people and make their lives more about religion. And this, I, I'm, I, I shouldn't be surprised because I, I thought I had a good idea of this, but this, it is overwhelmingly fantastic to watch what is coming in right now, Trevor, on social media yeah. about what he meant to so many people, not just players in the football community, but to just individuals. Well, I'll tell you one of those moments for me, you know, that uh, where I realized something really for the first time the way I have about Lavelle. I've always known the, the influence that he's had on me. But when BYU first opened up the, the Hall of Fame there, the museum with all the trophy cases, et cetera, uh, a number of years ago, I remember going for the first time and, and standing back away from tro the trophy cases, watching guys that had played for Lavelle stand there with their children and point through the glass at the trophies that they won when they were football players there. And the kids were thrilled to see the trophies. But it dawned on me really in a more full way at that moment that the real trophy wasn't behind the glass for the winning football. It was outside the glass. The real trophy was that father standing there with his children because through Lavelle and his mentoring and his example, men became better husbands than they would have been. They became better fathers than they would have been. That impacts the lives of wives and children and families going forward. And then that goes out like ripples in a pond. And so really when you talk about the legacy of Lavelle, there are so many things that are important. And the winning football games is important because it's hard to do it all, much less on, on such a sustained and high level that Lavelle did it. That is important and should not be diminished. But the, the real legacy is the, the family members of the, why, or excuse me, of the husbands and the fathers that were young, unguided missiles stepping into Lavelle's program 
and left with a vision towards life and an accountability and, and an understanding of how to treat people and an understanding of how to be a man that they never would have had in the same way had it not been for Lavelle. That, that's the true trophy. Trevor, BYU and Lavelle Edwards really go hand in hand. We had Tom Homo talking about it. I mean, the foundation of BYU football is Lavelle. And I, I have to imagine in your position in the national media and around college football and, and NFL teams, I have to imagine that once if BYU is brought up, I have to imagine the name Lavelle Edwards probably isn't far behind. No, it has to be. And part of the reason is his longevity there. I mean, once, once he started to really have success at a high level in the, in the late 70s and then into the 80s, he got offers from major college programs and NFL teams to leave BYU and go take more money. But instead, he chose to make a life at BYU. And I was just on Sports Center with Steve Young talking about this, and Steve brought up such a great point that – that he not only stayed in the same place for all those decades, he stayed in the same home. <laughs> Steve said that that was the same house where he passed away today where he had Gifford Nielsen over on a recruiting trip. And so that kind of, of, of stability is something that we just don't see anymore in college coaches, much less the quality of the man. But in certainly staying to make a life in one place, and that's one of the reasons that so many people have been impacted so deeply for so many generations by Lavelle, because he, he, he sank roots, he sank them deep, and when, he, when that tree grew, it had a solid, solid foundation, and from that came so much good for so many people. ESPN's Trevor Maddich with us on BYU Sports Nation talking about Lavelle Edwards. And the numbers are crazy. Jason just went over uh, what he's accomplished uh, with 29 seasons and 257 wins and a national championship and so many award winners and coaching Ty Detmer to the Heisman Trophy and his coaching tree is out of this world. I mean, where, where do you start when you discuss what Lavelle Edwards has meant to college football overall? Well, what he's meant to college football overall, he, he started a trend. You know, first of all, he, he, he was a guy who set an example in college football of building the foundation of success, not on your players' physical attributes, but rather on their character. And when you develop uh, strong character in your players, you'll have better football players on the field. Another thing is the whole passing game. At the time, it was the triple option. It was the wishbone. It was three yards in a cloud of dust that was state-of-the-art. And Lavelle Edwards took aspects of the passing game from Sid Gilman going way back in the day, added his own twist to it, and then brought that into college football in a way that had never been done before. And then you had Steve Spurrier with the fun and gun at Florida. You had Miami with all those national championships with the pro style. You know, and then it moved on from there. But it, it stemmed from Lavelle. And even today... There, if you look at, uh, for example, Mike Leach and the um, uh, air raid offense and all the Mike Leach coaching tree, et cetera, that stuff stems from what Lavelle Edwards was doing back in the 70s and 80s. Same principles. Now, now different specifics, but the, the principles of how you attack a defense are still being used today by some of the most high-powered offenses in all of college football, and that is another legacy of Lavelle on the field. Trevor, fantastic stuff. We appreciate the time, and uh, we'll talk to you later this afternoon as BYU Sports Nation continues with a live afternoon special. Thanks so much. All right, guys. Well, there you go, Jason Shepard. Um, uh, an unexpected two-hour special of BYU Sports Nation, but one that uh, I'll never forget. And uh, uh, glad to be here with you, partner. Yeah. Um, obviously wish it was under better circumstances, and I, I thought you summed it up great. I mean, you – you want to cry because it's sad, but uh, but you realize that uh, the man lived a great life. So our rise and shout, no doubt, goes out to Lavelle That's Edwards right. today. For everyone here on our crew at BYU Sports Nation, thanks so much for the time. We'll see you later this afternoon.